Hello, hello, welcome back. Now sit back and relax because I think you are going to enjoy our guest this morning. Dr. Zarka Temur is a motivational speaker who has dedicated her life to internal wellness and helps individuals meet the challenges of life successfully by discovering their hidden potential. And she has been inspiring individuals in her positive and inspirational talks for a number of years through universities, colleges and in television appearances as well. And it is now her personal passion to inspire the young and provide direction through identifying role models. And uh, she's a very important person today. So we better get talking to her. Please welcome Dr. Zarka Temur. Hello, Dr. Thank Zarka. You. How are you? I'm good. Good to see you and looking lovely, by the way. I think just looking at you can brighten up anybody's oh, that's day. kind of you. Uh, Dr. Zarka, when I was, uh, you know, Googling you and I was reading up on you, although I know that you are a very familiar face on TV, I read that you started some English courses, spoken English courses, uh, while you were in Dubai for laborers and taxi drivers and all. That was quite good, commendable. Yeah, well, it was, it's something that my heart always bleeds for. When I, um, you know, in Dubai, uh, a good, I would say, a good number of people from Pakistan are laborers and a lot of them are from KPK. Khaibar Pakhtunpa okay. and uh, they are such handsome men, you yeah. know, good looking, tall. Um, the only problem is they, a lot, most of them being either drivers or laborers are not educated mm -hmm. and don't know how to express themselves. Mm -hmm. And I used to see them in various um, parts of society but they uh, didn't, you know, they couldn't, they couldn't communicate with people and as a result they were always sort of dumped to the, to the back yeah. of wherever they were. So I, I looked at it and I thought, you know, what can I do for these people? Um, and I thought uh, in, in the UAE, if these people can uh, learn English, mm. then they, you know, when, when they will speak English, even if they're wearing their shalwar kameez in a multi-cultural um, society, when they speak English, people will take them seriously. That is so true. So I got this. Communication is so <coughs> important, otherwise you just close up. That's right. So that, that was a good uh, identification, I would say, right. that you did. So did people pick up on that? Uh, the, did you get a lot of response on that? It was, it was a very good response. We got, um, I ran the class for about seven months and we designed the course uh, uh, for, of about six classes because I knew their retention was not a mm -hmm. lot. Mm -hmm. And I had to give them something which would be practical to their real life. Right, right. So I came up with this course where we talk to them about day-to-day -day, uh, situations. So we had one class on airport conversation, one on hospital conversation, one on client conversation, mm -hmm. so, so on and so forth. And, um, and my other intention was, you know, when you, when you speak a language, you also learn the culture of that language. Right. So right. if they become familiar with English, I, I taught them how to say madam and sir to their mm -hmm. clients. And because in our culture, somehow people find it very difficult to say sir and madam because we are all so yeah, equal. equal i mean we are equal that, that is true but um, humility is is a is a quality and that it is courtesy basically absolutely. you're giving yeah, somebody absolutely. respect by absolutely. saying that absolutely. that that absolutely. is a wonderful idea so that is something that i wanted to start off with because i thought uh, when you know when we tell people to think out of the box this right. is one of those things right lovely now i know that you have been consulting in the united states in uae you are now here in pakistan as well opening up your own clinic what are the common problems that pe people face uh, that they need to, you know, get out of and they need help for? Well, I think all of us are the same color, caste, creed, you know, it doesn't really matter. We have the same problems of living. Hmm. We need to learn to live meaningfully and to live in, in the now. I need it all the time myself, so I can understand why everyone else needs hmm. it. So, um, and you know, how to lead life. I've got three children. You know, I've got a home and I've just moved to Pakistan. So, so and, and that's my life. And there, there are, everyone has some challenges in their life. Of course. So if we can, um, if we can learn to deal with our challenges, um, because I've always felt that particularly in, our, in, in a Muslim society and um, in, uh, in a society which is not very educated, mm -hmm. you tend to, you have the same problems as the rest of the world. You just tend to ignore or sort of um, hide problems True. and Nobody that gives to rise to them. yes and that gives rise to a lot of other issues right, right. like there are in our society hmm. so um, you know I want to help normal people like myself who can you know who have normal issues 
and we can deal with them that, better. Now, I, I understand and uh, that is really noble that you would, you know, want to, anybody want to be helped, but there are a couple of problems. Mm -hmm. Now, one is, of course, we are more of a close society, as yes. you mentioned. We will never talk to anybody, especially a stranger, right. about our problems. Right. The other thing is, the problems might be similar all mm -hmm. across the board. I mean, mm -hmm. we have the same probably, you know, issues, money issues or just parental issues, whatever you want mm -hmm. to call it, mm -hmm. uh, in the US, UAE, here, anywhere, but we are, you know, people are just different, different people deal with different things differently. Yeah. So how do you propose that you will, you know, be able to talk to Pakistanis living here in Pakistan and the problems are immense. Yeah. I mean, there are security issues, there is the price hike, there are so many things that are going on, a huge challenge. Yeah. You see, uh, after going through such such a chaotic uh, external environment, the uh, conclusion is that the only thing you can control in your life is yourself. You cannot control the external environment. Hmm. At least you and I cannot. Perhaps there are some people who can. So you have to learn to deal with yourself. And what I call the bi mind, body and soul. So, you know, we deal with the body by getting ourselves, uh, you know, beautified externally, skin and lasers and whatever. And um, the mind by uh, uh, knowing ourselves by through life coaching or through counseling. And then the soul through things like breathing, yoga, hmm. meditation and developing the soul because like the body, the soul needs food. Hmm. Of course. And, and, and the food of the soul has to be provided to it. Okay, that, that's interesting already, inspirational, that you n need to actually uh, talk to yourself as well, a little of bit course, of insight, of know yourself as well, and I Absolutely. think that would be better to uh, deal with your problems. Yeah. Now, what about, you know, um, a lot of people actually go to places, uh, go to wellness centers and they want to actually look good, but they want to feel good through looking good. Is mm. there a connection? I mean, is beauty only skin deep or does it actually go far? Well, you know, our slogan is looking good and feeling great. Yeah, yeah. So looking good, when you look good on the outside, that gives you a lot of confidence. True. Even if you're feeling terrible inside, but the confidence that you get from looking good, you know you're looking good, people are looking at you and they're admiring you mm. and you know, so that gives you confidence. But the real beauty that shows through, you know, when you're 20, you know, at your age, Oh, thank you, you for look, the compliment, 20. <laughs> I didn't okay. look 20. So there, there's beauty in, in the way you've been made, in mm. your age. But as you grow older, your inner beauty starts showing through. And even if you're all wrinkled and shriveled, if you've got the inner peace and the inner beauty, it does show through. Mm. Sure. So I think, I personally think the inner thing is more important. Though, of course, I want to look good too mm. and, you know. Um, so, so, you know, that's, that's my take on beauty, that uh, inner beauty is um, more important. But of course, outer beauty is extremely Absolutely. important. Absolutely. I, I agree with you there. Uh, but talking about images and, you know, because you want to look good, of course, you feel good, but also what other people see in you. You get yes. that confidence as well, yes. because when you are looking good, people are attracted to you and they would like to talk to you. You know, uh, there is a good environment is created, but how far should a person go to look good because these days uh, the sky is the limit you could right. actually change modify alter your appearance mm. in uh, you know ways that were unthinkable earlier yeah. Yeah. so how far should one go i mean i feel that if you go too far getting mm. you know hair and uh, skin and wrinkles off and facelift and everything you probably are in a different quest and you again are going away from that inner peace as well i don't know you could mm. <laughs> clear that thought i think i think it's to each his own if whatever makes you feel good, you know, and you are not, you're not bothering other people through it. You know, you're not, you're not stepping on toes and you're not creating unhappiness for this. Well, then go ahead and do what makes you happy. Because when you are happy, mm -hmm. you will make the people around you happy. Mm -hmm. If you are unhappy, Huma, then you cannot make the people around you happy. True, true. So true. it's very important to be happy. And whatever gives you the right balance of happiness, I, I mean, to me, right is important. You oh. know, we all know what, what is right for us. Exactly. Everybody has their own balance, Absolutely. actually. Absolutely. Okay, lovely. Oh, I have to tell uh, the people here, people who are watching, uh, I love giving out gifts, by the way. Okay. On our show, we have Dr. Zarka's Laser Skin and Wellness Clinic, which is opening up or it yes, has opened yes. up. Uh, next week. We, in fact, we are taking in only celebrities right now, pre-opening. 
Oh, lovely. So we've got, um, uh, by the way, our values for the clinic are confidentiality because I think that's very important so that if one person True. comes in, the other person who's out or in should not know. Okay. So that's one. And uh, of course, honesty in mm. telling you what you're going to get and then giving you what uh, it is. Um, and of course, service, excellent service. Oh, lovely. I, I like, I find that very interesting, the confidentiality part. Yes. Uh, because, uh, yeah, people do not really expect it here in yes, Pakistan yes, as well. Yes. And Lahore know, is such an open, you yeah, know, if I get exactly, something. Whether you like it or not, and nothing bad. I, this is nothing, uh, you know, against us Lahoris or anybody else for that matter. But that is just the way we are. We like to talk. Yeah, well, that, that's <laughs> absolutely fine. Lahore is lovely. I mean, oh, yeah. Lahore is such a beautiful city. Okay, Dr. Zarka, how would you like us to give out these vouchers? Well, that's your domain. You'll tell me how to give it up. Okay. So, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to sit on these for just a bit. We are going to announce um, either on Facebook uh, about how uh, we are going to be giving this out because we really want you to earn it. This is a really, uh, you know, useful voucher. So, we want you to earn it. So, we are going to come up with a question or, uh, yeah, about, I, I think, uh, Dr. Zarka, we could ask them what motivates them to, you know, want to be better. Uh, and want to uh, inspire other people. They, they could actually, you know, give us their little stories and the best and answers be could uh, win this voucher. How about that? More details on Facebook. Uh, don't worry. 